Hey everyone, and welcome back to the deep dive. Today, our, we're going to County Roscommon. In Ireland. It's a place you might not have heard much about. But after this deep dive. You'll definitely want to check it out. We've got this fantastic article from Love Ireland. And let me tell you, this place has it all. Historical sites. Outdoor adventures and well, even a Swedish it. twist. I'm dying to hear more about. So you're our resident expert on well, just about everything, it seems. Uh -huh. Yeah, I try to keep up. Tell us. Why should we care about County Roscommon? Well. What's fascinating about County Roscommon is it's often overlooked. You know. It's in the heart of of Ireland. Uh, the article calls it a hidden gem. And I think that's spot on. It's where history, nature, and culture all blend together. In a really unique way. Perfect for anyone. History buffs. Outdoor enthusiasts. Or those just looking for an authentic Irish experience. Okay. You've piqued my interest. The article mentions some amazing attractions. It's like stepping back in time. Yeah, with all these castles and abbeys. So where should we start? Let's start with Roscommon Castle. Shall we? The Normans built this imposing structure. Back in the 13th century. Wow. Now it's in ruins. But the article highlights its breathtaking panoramic views. Can you imagine standing atop those ruins? Looking out over the Irish countryside? Must be incredible. To be surrounded by so much history. Absolutely. And speaking of history. The article mentions Strokestown Park House. It sounds like a place of contrasts. It's described as this grand Georgian mansion. But it also houses the National Famine Museum. I have to admit. I don't know much about the Great Famine. Ah, uh, that's a really important point you bring up. The Great Famine was a devastating period in Irish history. In the mid-1800s. Millions died or emigrated because of potato blight. It's a dark chapter. And the museum at Strokestown Park really delves into that. Yeah. You have this opulent mansion. It's a symbol of wealth and privilege. Right alongside a museum dedicated to a time of, of immense suffering. It really makes you think. About the complexities of Irish history, right? Wow. That juxtaposition is powerful. It seems like County Roscommon isn't shying away from the tough parts of its history. So we've got castles. So we've got mansions. What other historical treasures does Roscommon have? Well, if you're interested in monastic history... You have to check out Boyle Abbey. It's one of the best preserved Cistercian monasteries in Ireland. Dates back to the 12th century. So even older than Roscommon Castle. Think about it monks walking these halls over 800 years ago. The article talks about the intricate stone carvings. And the abbey's tranquil atmosphere. You can practically feel the weight of history in a place like that. Okay, I'm sold on the history. But the article also hinted at some underground adventures. This sounds like a total shift in gears. What do they mean by that? Ah, uh, yes. The Eurigna mining experience. This one is truly unique. It's a chance to go deep underground. Into one of Ireland's last working coal mines. I don't know about you. But I find that fascinating. It's a glimpse into a way of life that's almost gone. Oh, absolutely. It's one thing to read about coal mining in a history book. But it's something else entirely to actually experience it firsthand. You get a real sense of what those miners went through. The hard work. And the danger. It's more than just a history lesson. You're connecting with the human story. Behind Ireland's industrial past. And for those who want to stay above ground. Loft Key Forest Park seems like the perfect counterpoint to the depths of the mine. Okay, I'm ready for some fresh air. What makes Loft Key so special? I'm picturing rolling green hills. And maybe a castle or two thrown in for good measure. Loft Key's like stepping into a fairy tale. We're talking walking trails. That wind through ancient woodlands. Or sparkling lakes. And even an adventure playground for the young and young at heart. And... You've got your dose of history there, too. The park is home to Moylurk Tower. Another Norman structure. And there are even mysterious underground tunnels. They were used by servants back in the 19th century. So we've got picturesque landscapes. And a touch of mystery. And I'm sensing a theme here. Lots of Norman influence, it seems. You're picking up on that, are you? It's fascinating, isn't it? We tend to think of the Normans in England. But their influence reached far beyond that. County Roscommon is a prime example. They left their mark on the landscape. On the architecture. And even on the culture of this region. You know, before we move on... I have to ask about this Roscommon Arts Center. The article mentions it briefly. But I'm curious. What kind of artistic scene are we talking about here? Traditional Irish music and dance. Modern art. What can someone expect? It, the Roscommon Arts Center is a real hub of creativity. They've got a diverse program. So yes, you might catch some traditional Irish music or dance. But they also host theater productions. Yeah. 
and even international artists. It's a great way to experience the modern cultural side of County Roscommon. So we've got history mm -hmm. and a thriving art scene. But there's one last thing that really caught my eye in the article. It mentions something called Bodeborg at Lofke Forest Park. Apparently it's some kind of Swedish import. And completely unique to Ireland. I have to admit. I'm totally clueless. Okay. Get ready for this. Because Bodeborg is unlike anything you've probably ever experienced before. It's this two-story complex with over 40 different rooms. And each room is a unique challenge or puzzle. But here's the catch. There are absolutely no instructions. Hold on. No instructions at all. That sounds terrifying and exciting at the same time. It really does live up to that starts in your own mind description from the article. But how do you even begin to solve a puzzle with no instructions? That's the beauty of it. You have to rely on your intuition work. and problem solving skills to figure it out. The article says it's all about exploring new paths dot together with curiosity, laughter, and excitement. It sounds like a mental and physical workout rolled into one. Wow. So it's like an escape room on steroids? You have to use your brains and brawn to navigate these challenges. Sign me up. I'm starting to understand why they call County Roscommon a hidden gem. Right. It's a place full of surprises. Who would have thought that a Swedish concept like Bodeborg would find a home in rural Ireland? It just goes to show that County Ross Common is a place that embraces the unexpected. Okay. We've covered a lot of ground in this first part of our deep dive. From Norman castles. To underground adventures. To Swedish puzzles in the Irish countryside. County Ross Common seems to defy expectations. But I have a feeling we've only just scratched the surface. Skip Tur around. Because in part two. We're going to take an even deeper dive. Into what makes County Ross Common so special. We'll explore how these attractions connect to the bigger picture of Irish history and culture. You won't want to miss it. As we're talking about these attractions. I'm struck by how they all connect to these broader themes yeah, you know. of Irish history and culture. It's not just a collection of random sites. It's like each place tells a story. And together to create this tapestry of what County Roscommon is all about. I love that analogy of a tapestry. This makes you realize that exploring a place like County Roscommon it's not just about checking things off a list. That's about immersing yourself in those stories. Those threads that connect the past to the present. Exactly. Take Roscommon Castle, for example. We talked about its Norman origins. But when you consider that the Normans arrived in Ireland. In the 12th century. It makes you realize. That this castle is a physical reminder. Of a turning point in Irish history. It's a symbol of the Norman influence. That shaped so much of Irish architecture. Culture. And even language. In those breathtaking panoramic views you mentioned. They take on a whole new meaning. When you think about the strategic importance of a castle like that. The Normans weren't just building for aesthetics. They were building for power and control. Right. And then you have Strookstown Park House. This grand estate that reflects a different era of Irish history. The Georgian period. But even there. The presence of the National Famine Museum reminds us that wealth and privilege existed alongside poverty and hardship. It's a stark contrast. That forces us to confront the complexities of the past. It's like you said earlier. Irish history isn't simple. There's so many layers to it. And I think that's what makes exploring a place like County Roscommon so fascinating. It's not just about pretty scenery. It's about understanding the forces that shaped this place and its people. Absolutely. And it's not just the historical sites that tell these stories. Even the Arigna mining experience. Which focuses on a specific industry. That gives us insights. Into broader themes. Of labor are... and social change in Ireland. Coal mining was a way of life for generations. And that experience shaped communities. Families. And even national identity. It makes you think about the lives of those miners. The hardships they faced. And the resilience they showed. It's a reminder that history isn't just about dates and battles. It's about the everyday lives of ordinary people. <laughs> and then you have Loch Key Forest Park. Which connects us to the natural world. And the importance of preserving those spaces. Ireland's landscape has been shaped by both human and natural forces. And Loch Key is a place where you can really appreciate that interplay. It's also a reminder that amidst all the historical and cultural attractions, there's this incredible natural beauty that deserves our attention and respect. Sometimes we get so caught up in the man-made wonders that we forget to appreciate the wonders of the natural world. That's so true. And speaking of unexpected wonders, let's talk about Bodeborg again. This 
quirky Swedish concept. Nestled in the heart of Ireland. It just goes to show you that cultural exchange can happen in the most surprising places. It's like County Roscommon is this crossroads. Where different cultures and ideas converge. You've got the Norman influence. The impact of the Great Famine. The legacy of coal mining. And now this Swedish concept. That challenges people in a totally new way. It's a real melting pot of experiences. And that's what makes this deep dive so exciting. We're not just learning about a place on a map. You're exploring different facets of human experience. Through the lens of County Ross Common. It's like a microcosm of the world. With all its complexities and moments of unexpected joy and discovery. Okay, we've talked about the historical significance. The cultural richness. And even the mind-bending challenges. That County Ross Common offers. But from your perspective. What sets County Ross Common apart from other destinations in Ireland? What makes it truly unique? That's a great question. You see? What sets County Ross Common apart? Is its unique blend of authenticity and accessibility? It's a place where you can experience the true essence of Ireland. Away from the more tourist-heavy areas? You can immerse yourself in the local culture. Enjoy the unspoiled landscapes. And really get a sense of what life is like in this part of the world. It's not about manufactured attractions. Or staged experiences. It's about genuine encounters. And authentic moments. And that's something that's becoming increasingly rare in today's world. You're right. There's a certain charm. To those off-the-beaten-path destinations. There's always a sense of discovery. That you just don't get in more crowded tourist spots. Exactly. And that's what makes County Roscommon so special. It's a place where you can slow down. Reconnect with yourself. And experience the true spirit of Ireland. So if someone were to ask you for one compelling reason to visit County Roscommon. What would it be? I would say is the opportunity to experience a side of Ireland that's often overlooked. A place where history Major. and culture intertwine to create an unforgettable journey. It's a chance to step away from the familiar. Embrace the unexpected. And discover a hidden gem that will stay with you long after you've left. I couldn't have said it better myself. So as we wrap up this segment of our deep dive, I want to encourage you, dear listener, to really think about what resonates with you about County Ross Common. Is it the historical intrigue? Then a natural beauty. Or perhaps the thrill of a mental challenge? Hold on to that thought. Because in our final segment, we'll be discussing some key takeaways. And leave you with a final thought-provoking question to ponder. Welcome back to the deep dive. I don't know about you. But I'm feeling pretty inspired after our journey through County Ross Common. Me too. Who knew a place I'd never even heard of could be so fascinating. It really highlights the power of exploration, doesn't it? It really does. Not just of physical places. But of ideas and history, too. Absolutely. Good. So Good. let's talk about those connections. What are some of the key takeaways? From our exploration of County Ross Common. What really stood out to you? Well, I think the biggest takeaway for me is that County Ross Common challenges our assumptions about travel. It's not about fancy resorts or crowded tourist traps. Right. It's about immersing yourself in a place. Connecting with its history and culture on a deeper level. And being open to the unexpected. You're right. It's about embracing those authentic moments. Those genuine encounters that you can't find just anywhere. Exactly. Another key takeaway is the importance of balance. County Ross Common offers this incredible mix of history, nature, and culture. You can explore ancient ruins, hike through stunning landscapes, and then experience a vibrant art scene. All in one place? It's like a perfectly curated travel experience. Without feeling manufactured or touristy. And of course. You can't forget the element of surprise. Bodeborg. Oh yeah. Who would have guessed? A Swedish concept. That's totally unique to Ireland. It just goes to show. You can find hidden gems in the most unexpected places. And that's what makes exploring so much fun. Right. Absolutely. The thrill of discovering something new. Something that challenges your perceptions. And expands your horizons. I agree. So as we wrap up this deep dive into County Roscommon... I want to leave you with one final thought-provoking question. If you were to explore County Roscommon... Which attraction would you experience first? And why? Hmm. That's a tough one. Would you be drawn to the history of Roscommon Castle? Standing atop those ruins. And imagining the Normans surveying their domain. Or maybe you'd be more intrigued by the stories of Strokestown Park House. Exploring the contrast between opulence and tragedy during the Great Famine. Perhaps the tranquil beauty of Boyle Abbey calls to you. Or the adventure of journeying deep underground in the Arinda mining experience. Or maybe. Just maybe. You're ready to test your limits. 
and embrace the unexpected at Boda Borgo. There are so many good choices. Whatever path you choose. I have a feeling that County Roscommon will leave a lasting impression. It certainly will. It certainly has on me. So. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into County Roscommon. Until next time. Keep exploring. Keep learning. And keep those adventurous spirits alive.